In Maine, they say we have three seasons, summer, winter, and mud season, and we get them all here. It is a challenge, it's not for the faint of heart, but we do enjoy it, and outdoors is just part of our life here. This is a farm in Warren. I have been on this property for my whole life. Grew up here, my grandparents lived here, and it's been in my family for a long time. My kids are the eighth generation to live in this house. We enjoy being outdoors and just enjoy being outside here and enjoying the property that we have. This is a 1953 Jeep. That's what Dean Fisher designed his first snow plows for in 1948 was Willie's Jeeps because they were so prevalent after World War II. They took the more military version previous models and made them a little more comfortable for uh, civilian use. My dad was a history buff. He loved history, so he liked old cars and old things. So. Uh, he would drive this to work. We used it to plow the driveway in the wintertime. It was kind of that all around thing, which is kind of what Jeeps are known for. This was just the way my dad bought it 30 plus years ago. My kids still call it Grampy's Jeep, so that's, that's what its official moniker is. I was probably 14 or 15 when I started to, to drive it myself. And the cool thing about having a piece of property is you can legally drive off-road, which makes you already feel like the king of the world. This October will be three years since my dad passed away. It's a huge hole in your life when you lose a parent. If I look back at all the enjoyment and all the fun and all the time we had together, and I was blessed to have it, and I am thankful for it, and he was the best guy in the world. My dad was a, a Vietnam veteran. He was a historian, he loved it. My son, Jason, is 13, and he gave me a lot of help on this project, on this Jeep, over the last year or so that we were working on it. We pulled it in the garage in the wintertime because we could put some heat in the garage, and it was a, a nice project to work on when you couldn't go outside. And, I saw the excitement that I had when I was his age, just sitting in it and pretending to shift gears and make motor noises in the garage and, and things like that. So I was able to see that same excitement, which was, which was huge for me. We use the term today, legacy, and I don't think anybody ever starts out to build a legacy. I think people just get up every day and decide that they're gonna work hard, do the right thing, treat people well, and do the best thing that they know how. And then after a number of years, it kind of becomes who you are. I think part of the area in, in the mindset of, of Mainers is you buy things that you want to last. And you're gonna invest your money in something that's gonna be around for a while. And if you drive around here locally, you can see in people's driveways, tucked behind their garage, fishers of all kinds of different vintages and ages. And, and a lot of them, if you go and ask, is they, they still use them. They still plow the driveway with them. They plow their yard, their mom's driveway, everything like that. People had them for a long time because they were built well. You can always buy things that are made somewhere else, but around here, Fisher was a big enough employer that everybody knew somebody who worked there. So you could be like, hey, Bob helped build this, or, or Jim was involved in this, or I know so-and-so's cousin, and it was nice to be part of that. I started with Fisher in July of 2009. I am blessed to have what I have, to have the career that I do, to have the family that I do, to wake up in a spot where I've grown up and all the memories that I've had, I am blessed beyond all measure.